Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Saylor, and this is... Brighton. <laughs> this is my daughter, Brighton. And today we are going to read a story. Since today is actually Kids Club at the office, um, Banner Ray Family Chiropractic Center, and we know... Wait, Mom, you forgot someone. What did I forget? Forrest. Oh, Forrest is down here, one of our cats. We have three of them. Um, so instead of Kids Club, we know a lot of you will not be able to come in today. So we thought we'd read a book. What book are we reading? Sammy the Centipede Goes to the Chiropractic. <laughs> so it's... Like she said, Sammy the Centipede goes to the chiropractor, and it's by Maria oh, Lush Singer. Chiropractor. chiropractor. Oh, yes, you <laughs> are good. Okay, so we begin. So let's start. Here's the first page. You want to read a couple lines? Sure. Hi, I'm Sammy the Centipede, and I'm going to tell you what um it is to le what is it like to visit a, a chiropractor. I'm Sammy the Centipede. I'm feeling very fine. A visit to my chiropractor keeps my spine in line. Oh, oh he's very sad in this one. Want to read this page? Sure. I love to climb, but one day I was inching my way up my favorite tree. I had almost reached the place I wanted to be, but I had to stretch a little too far with my front legs. Down I went and hit the ground with a thud. I looked like a train that had gone off the track. I straightened myself out and slowly stood up. I was a little sore, but I thought I would be okay, so we fell. That's not fun. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> okay. Later that day, I was riding my bi bicycle built for 15 pairs of legs. That's a big bike. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a wonderful ride and enjoying the beautiful day. Suddenly, I tried to go around the corner too quick. I lost control of, my, um, of the steering, and my legs could not work the pedals. I ended up in a heap, even though I was wearing a helmet. I had a headache, my legs were sore, and my stomach didn't feel well too too well either. So here's the picture of him. He fell on the ground. Yeah, yeah that's not good. All right. I knew that um, this would be a good time to call my friend the chiropractor for an appointment. Even um, though taking medicine sometimes makes me feel better, it doesn't always take care of the real reasons. I'm not feeling well. My chiropractor will give me a checkup that is different from the one I get from other kinds of doctors. He will be, do a checkup of my spine. So here he's laying on the couch. So. <laughs> okay. You have a spine that protects your nervous, si nervous system. Mm -hmm. Your brain sends messages to different parts of your body using your nervous system. It works like a computer inside your body. The brain ha um, has helpers called the sp spinal cord and nerves. There is a long string of bones inside you that starts at the top of your head and goes down your back to where you sit. This is called your spine. So over here is a picture of your spine, right there. You can feel the bumps with your hands if you put your hand in the middle of your back. Can you feel them? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All of these bo bones have to move and protect your nerves. Each bone um, has a hole um, where the nerves pass through the rest of your body. Can you see the different sections of my body? You have different sections of spinal bones that make up your spine. Good job. You have a seven C bones, 12 T bones, five 11 bones, and a sacrum. Okay, so five L bones. So C is in your neck, so you have seven C bones that are in your neck. The middle of your back has T bones, which are your thoracic, and the L bones are your five low back. And then you sit on your sacrum. That's what we're sitting on right now. <laughs> the cervical bones protect the nerves that control the upper part of your body, like your eyes, ears, oh. neck, and arms. You want to see what this is? The T-bones or thoracic. Thoracic, thoracic. yep. Yeah. <laughs> bones are in the middle of part of your spine. These bones protect the nerves that control your heart, your lungs, and your stomach. So here you go. We have another cat joining us. Oh, Hunter. there he is. <laughs> He's wondering what's going on. This is Hunter, everyone. <laughs> so, oh, we just lost our page. Okay. Yeah, we were okay. Just, no, we were, wait. We did that. So okay. now we did that. The L bones or lumbar bones are in the lower part of your body. They protect the nerves that help you control your bladder, your legs, and your feet. Your sacrum is at your very bottom of your spine where you sit. Like I said, we're sitting on it. So here's what it actually looks like right there. That's your sacrum. So, yes. <laughs> It is a group of bones that forms a triangle shape that rest that the rest of your spine sits on. Okay. Each of the 24 bones in your spine were all made to move together in a certain way. 
When you fall or twist your body in a way that is not used to, um, you may cause some of your spinal bones to move out of the right place. They will not be able to move like they should. Your spine is not well when this happens, and your body may become sick or it may not work as well as you could, as it could. Your friend the chiropractor can give you an adjustment of your spine, and the adjustment will help put your bones back in the right place. Then they will be able to help every part of your body feel its best. Who's your favorite chiropractor? Mm -hmm. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> She's so nice, but you know, I think it is your mother, right? Maybe. <laughs> okay. You may do some check you may do some checks that will have like be like playing a game of Simon sets. Your chiropractor may touch you tell you to touch your toes, twist or raise your legs up and down like oh. marching like a shoulder. Ow. <laughs> what was that? A twist. A hokey twist. twist. Okay, you want to read that one? Another fun way um, your chiropractor may have you do checks is um, to have to climb aboard a padded table or bench. He or she may have you lie face down. Don't worry, there's a place for your nose. Doing these checks is also a lot like playing Simon Says. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? The chiropractor will measure your legs. The same, that way is how he'll, he or she will know how to adjust you. If you need one, your chiropractor will give you an adjustment to, um, to put your spine back in line so it can work the best for you. An adjustment is giving, um, given by a chiropractor like this. He or she will push down or on different parts of your back with their hands, or they may use a friendly looking gadget. There, um, there are many ways to adjust your spine. Your chiropractor will pick the right way to help your spine work better. So how do we adjust? With that funny looking gadget. <laughs> yeah, so we use an arthro stem, right? A tool that gently taps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> an adjustment doesn't take long. Chiropractic adjustments sometimes feel like a little push in your back or a tap. This feels like you <laughs> sometimes you're a little sore. It feels like you just exercise. Best of all, your friend the chiropractor does not give shots or icky tasting medicine. To help your body heal, you should not play, not play hard for a couple of hours. Then you'll feel great. See, and then they're giving hugs. You get lots of hugs at our office. Did he show them the last picture? I don't know he did. Let's go back. Sorry if we didn't. Oh. Sorry, we weren't showing the pictures. These are the pictures. <laughs> All right. So. Oh. Okay, he looks like an ant. He does. Okay. I have fun visiting you with you today, and just remember, a visit to your chiropractor will help your um, your spine in line. After an adjustment, you will be f you'll you'll be feeling <laughs> very fine. Your friend Sammy the centipede. And there, there's the smile. So, That's hope it. you enjoyed our story. This is the author right here. So, and there was Sammy goes to the chiropractor. Yay. So, anything else you want to say to the audience? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy this beautiful Friday, and we will too. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.